good morning from Alton Towers and that sound that you can hear on the roof of the car is quite a lot of rain. No Stevie unfortunately, got an empty passenger seat in the car. As you saw in our last video which I recorded yesterday, Stevie's not feeling very well at the moment but she told me to crack on and go to Alton Towers anyway. She missed out on the last trip as well because it was just me and Rich watching the football so it's a, real, it's a real shame Stevie's not been to Alton Towers for a little while but we'll get her here soon. With the weather by the way as well we may have to do most of the filming on the GoPro which is why you will see differences in the picture and sound quality. The GoPro is not amazing for sound, but unfortunately this camera that you're on right now, the G7X, is not particularly waterproof and I don't want to break it because it's quite an expensive camera. So GoPro for when it's raining, which looks like most of today. So anytime we're outside, it'll probably be GoPro unless it miraculously stops raining anytime soon. Still on the G7X here because I'm stood underneath the entrance barrier and there is nobody else here <laughs> and the gates open in about 25 minutes they have just opened the monorail gate so anyone who's jumping on the monorail down here will be here very soon i think one new thing to point out over there is those little recycling kiosks you put a 500 ml bottle of coke or diet coke or whatever you've got in there and it gives you a prize which i believe is a 50 percent off voucher for any merlin attraction which is really good and i might get one later because i've just got a bottle of coke and Maybe we'll even give it away to one of you guys because we've got Merlin annual passes anyway, so we don't need it, but I'm sure one of you guys could use it. You can see how gloomy it is today because they've actually got the lights switched on on the buildings on Tower Street at the moment and the little street lights, although the bulb's gone on that one just in the middle there. You for Wicker Man now is Jim from Despicable 3. Good morning. Morning, Jim. It's Wicker Man looking moody in the, in the rain. And we're on the GoPro now because this is waterproof and the other camera isn't. Got off Wickerman. Now we've got Rich as well. Now Rich was running late due to a porridge-related incident this morning. Emergency porridge stuff. <laughs> but we're all here now, and Wickerman was incredible just then. That was probably the quickest run that we've had on Wickerman ever since it's been open. Rain really, really helps. It was absolutely flying. Really great ride. Even he was going to stop at one point. Really went flying into the brakes at the end, and even the beat, the flat turn that you go up, like just before the third time through the Wickerman structure absolutely flying through it around that unbanked turn which is quite interesting for lateral G's. Anyway, it's still raining but we're going to head over towards the Smiler now and see what's going on with that. On the extended queue line for the Smiler. It's, it opens in five minutes and they're just kind of batching people up in here before they open the main queue line. The Smiler queue has been its usual absolute lake when it's raining. Fresh off the Smiler. That was just a little bit painful to tell the truth, the rain on the face, but it's still good fun and it's running really really quickly, same with the uh, Wickman earlier, it's amazing how much of a difference a wet track makes. Now the park is fairly quiet, it's open to day guests now, still really really quiet, Oblivion as we can see here is a zero minute wait right now, so we're going to jump on that, Oblivion was great fun as always and apart, well, apart from the bit where we sat on the brake run for ages at the end in the rain because it's still coming down really heavy. So that was a bit of a letdown, but Oblivion in itself was really good. It's just getting off takes ages. Now, as you can probably see behind me, the dark forest is still fairly quiet. Rita looks like a complete walk-on at the moment. So, potentially going to do Rita in 30. What do you think of that, guys? Uh, painful. Very painful. That was pretty painful. <laughs> as soon as it launched, it's just the rain in the face was... Horrendous, it's like hail to the face. Even our cat like reflexes couldn't, uh, couldn't save us on that one. No, <laughs> never mind. We're getting lots of rides in anyway because everything's a complete walk on. Because I think not many people are stupid enough to be here like us. I don't actually want to be here, I'll be here. <laughs> Doing it for the cause, Rich. <laughs> Whatever the cause is. Character, yeah, we can get going on a wet ride. Yeah. We might as well go on the rapids to be honest. Probably get drier. Yeah. <laughs> With how unwet the rapids are, we'll probably get drier on the rapids. So, due to the curse of Rich, <laughs> we just got evacuated from 13. We had quite a long sit, to be honest. It was about 20 minutes, just sat at the top where the drop track is. And lights came on. A lady came in and talked to us for a bit while they evacuated the ride, row by row, which took a while. Now, we got a, f a free fast pass out of it, which isn't too bad. But that was probably about 40 minutes or so out of the day there now. So we're, we're behind schedule now. But it's always 13, we were just saying, 
last time we came 13 was where stuff started going wrong. We got evacuated in the brake run last time. So fingers crossed it's not a repeat of the last time me and Rich were here. It's a forbidden valley. Time for a bit of nemesis. Rich has been checking the app since it's a zero minute wait. In the moment the truth as we get around the corner. So we get in the queue. We uh, get in the queue and then it'll be a uh, nemesis is currently closed. Still says zero, that'll do. Very quickly back on the G7X while we're inside and it's not raining. Queuing for the front row in Nemesis, not done the front of Nemesis for a while. And otherwise it's a complete walk on. We've just done the front row on Nemesis. Excellent. Not been on the front row for a little while, but really enjoyed it. And we're just going back round for another go in it, because it's still a complete walk on. Probably won't do the front row again, we'll just jump on a row further back this time. But it'd be good to get, get a re-ride on Nemesis today. complete the set we just did the back row on Nemesis as well excellent proper face melting g-force on the a little bit on the back a little bit on the front for the view as well I think probably just about prefer the front but excellent no matter where you sit really Nemesis just we think it's about lunchtime now gonna have a little wander over find the rest of the crew which are over in CBB's land somewhere it's a first for me at Alton Towers it's the first time I've ever been in CBB's land because I never have a need to come in here normally but we're going finding Lucy and Elliot and Owen and I think Steph's in here somewhere as well with, the, uh, with Jimmy and uh, Steph's niece. But, uh, there you go, there you go. There's a look, a look around CBB's land. And I would have been all over this postman pack ride as a kid. Not so much anymore, but I'm sure it's great fun for the kids. So, we've had some lunch now and feeling like we're ready for some more rides. It has kind of stopped raining, more or less. And it's time for Jewel. Stevie's not here to beat us today. So, I think Elliot might win. Are you going to win, Elliot? <laughs> I bet you'll win. Just got off Jewel, had fun on there. Elliot won, of course, being the champion on Jewel. And just looking at Nemesis Subterra to see what's going on with the rumoured scarefest construction that we've got going on here you can see the queue line has had some new higher fencing on there so potentially we're going to have some like jump scares and stuff in the queue maybe around this way you can't really see a huge amount that's changed since the last time because it's all behind this like cover basically so you can't see what's going on but it'll be interesting to see what happens with this later in the year this view of forbidden valley as you enter and you can see nemesis in front of you dug down into the ground you always hear it before you can see it because it's so low into the ground a 15 minute queue at the moment not looking too bad just had my third go of the day on nemesis with lucy and now rich is going on for his third go of the day it's my fourth go of the day considering it's the summer holidays it's dry now this afternoon it's not too bad I'm um, doing really well. Four goes on Nemesis on a Sunday in the summer holidays. Can't complain. Sorry. Lucy's modelling the latest fashions. Looking good. Just had two goes on Wickerman. Went on once with Rich and in the middle of the train again. And then we went on with Lucy and we got second to back row. But to be fair, Wickerman is absolutely flying today. The, the wet track and the fact that it's peak season and it's getting a hammer in in terms of usage. It's really, really flying to the point where when it's running like that, it's kind of up there with Nemesis as my favourite ride in the park, I think. Really, it's that good. I don't think it can go above Nemesis. It can be joint top. No. Joint top with Nemesis. Intensity, Nemesis will be the best. Yeah, Nemesis is still the more intense ride. I said to you earlier on, you're just smiling all the way around the Wicked Mountain because it's got 
and when it's running at the speed that it's running today, it's just it is an amazing ride. Um, yeah. Although my ribs are hurting, I kept my hands up as we went through the first tunnel. But uh, yeah. apart from that, yeah, it's really uh, absolutely ripping around the track today, Wickerman. Arms up all the way around. Apart from this morning, I didn't do it this morning, and Rich was uh, lambasting me for not doing it. So I've been uh, done it both both times since. Arms up all the way around. Smiler's on a 45 minute queue now. A few times are picking up a little bit this afternoon, but it's by no means busy by summer standards. Here's a Bolivian, where we're just about to go now, which has currently got no more than a five minute queue. It's almost a walk on. Probably not going to have any more goes on that today because it is a little bit of a long queue. 45 minutes, it's one of the longer queues in the park. A couple more excellent goes on Oblivion. Running really well today and we're actually doing really well for re-rides today. Been on Oblivion three times, been on Wickerman three times, Nemesis four times, been on Jewel, been on Rita. Got halfway around 13 and then Rich broke it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Not uh, considering, it, I'm just saying to Rich, considering it's the last Sunday in July, because of the weather, there's hardly anyone here. It's doing really well. There's a few rides that have got fairly long queues, as I've just shown you there, Smiler's 45 minutes. Wicker Man's about 50, but if you pick and choose your queues right and you use those handy fast track tickets that we keep getting, then you can get away with it. And we've got loads done today, it's been really good. And we've still got, because it's a six o'clock close today, we've still got nearly an hour and a half until the park closes. So we're doing really well. <laughs> So we had to go on the runaway mine train, or at least I did. But Rich didn't get to go on it. I love queuing 20 minutes for rides I don't really want to go on and then not to get to go on them anyway. Yeah, Elliot, Elliot decided he didn't want to ride the runaway mine train. Just, just as he sat down in it. So, so Rich didn't get to go on it. It was an epic meltdown though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty, uh, pr pretty epic on the meltdown scale. But never mind. He has committed on video, on Rich's video that he'll do it next time. Not convinced that's uh, <laughs> good enough. Not contractually binding. <laughs> the music's really loud. So we had two goes on Rita, once with Lucy, once with Rich. And it was a little bit more pleasant than this morning with the uh, <laughs> rain bullets to the face. But still fun, it's pretty good. It wasn't as yeah. big than this morning. This morning was, well, obviously, because it was raining, it was quicker. Yeah, definitely like after the, the launch, definitely sort of maintained its speed a little bit more this morning, but not this afternoon, that's dried up a bit. It's still good though. Yeah. And it's probably the last coaster of the day now. It's gonna have a little ride on the sky ride. It'll let us on. Doesn't like there's many people wanting to get on the sky ride at this time of day, but Elliot's really desperate to have a ride, so hopefully they're gonna let us on. Yes, that's what George told you. Yeah, I felt the show. Yeah, you just don't need to know. Are you doing it? No. Yeah, they say they've got the entrance now. Yeah. Wow. We didn't even get any crowd in, did we do it? Oh, no. Of course it makes sense for the park to advertise even though Halloween feels like quite a while away yet. Busiest time of the year at the moment so might as well get the adverts out. Well, that's going to do it for Martin Towers today. It's been a really really good day. Been good hanging around with Rich and Lucy and Owen and Elliot. Wherever Elliot's gone, he's over there somewhere. Oh he's playing with the tree now. <laughs> yeah really fantastic day. It's been great hanging around with you again. It was good to see Jim and Steph earlier. Steph briefly and we got a few rides in with Jim earlier this morning. Really good day. Got loads done. It's nowhere near as busy as we thought it was going to be because this is about as sunny as it's been all day. But 
to be honest, other than that rain first thing this morning, it's been fine. Yeah. So by 11 o'clock, uh, we got hit by that big shower, so we were very wet, but uh, once it died off, it's fine. Yeah. So we're going to leave it there. Got to jump home. Got to get home to Stevie. She'll be wondering where I am. And I'm sure she's hungry by now, waiting for some food. So we're going to go home and sort of Stevie out with some food. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow our adventures, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.